Oh, this morning we went over the aches a little bit mm -hmm. earlier in the show, but now we're going to take a deeper dive into how these can impact your actual relationships. Oh, we are really going there today. Uh -huh. Licensed marriage and family therapist Dr. Christy Kadarian joins us now with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So give us an idea. What exactly causes the ick? So the ick is something that people have been feeling in the early stages of relationship for a while, but we've just caught on with to this term. And basically it's when you start to get to know somebody and then they do something, it could be a strange mannerism or something they say or a habit that just gives you this kind of initial feeling of disgust. And you're just like, ick, I didn't realize that they do this thing and it affects how attracted you are to them and if you feel like the relationship can move forward or not. Oh my goodness, yeah. Can it live through this? <laughs> can somebody actually come back from getting the ick or from being the uh, person who is icked? Right. <laughs> I always say that, especially when it happens early on in the relationship, it's likely that you didn't get to know somebody deeply mm -hmm. enough and maybe it was just a superficial connection that was about attraction or just physical connection rather than getting to know the whole person. I think when we get to know someone three-dimensionally, we are willing and more willing to accept their flaws or idiosyncrasies mm -hmm. than if we just kind of had that initial attraction and that's all that there is. So once that love bubble is popped, that's when you can really understand, is this a deeper connection where I can love this person and be loved just despite my imperfections. Now, is this one of those things that maybe it never bothered you before, but then all of a sudden you see your partner do it and you're like, eh, I'm <laughs> not sure about that. Definitely. I think sometimes you can feel the ick in relationships, especially around certain stages. So I always say if like a, a couple moves in together, that's another stage that mm -hmm. you might experience the ick <laughs> or see it because now you're getting to know their habits and how they live and lifestyle things. And many icks are around like personal hygiene. So I think that it can definitely be something that you didn't notice before. What we find is that initially in the relationship, you have all of these like positive neurochemicals going going on where you just feel that honeymoon stage and then when there, that wears off you might notice things that you didn't know before or things that you actually thought were like cute and endearing start to become kind of annoying or icky. Yeah I definitely I spoke with a centenarian before okay. and I was like okay so how did you and your husband survive this long period of time that they have been married she's like separate bathrooms so I totally <laughs> agree with you. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here on the show today we appreciate all your great advice. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> All right time is not